Transitioning up away from 80 kilos up to the 85 weight class in which he competed for most of the 2015 season. And we are underway. Two three minute periods in Greco Roman. See the two on one briefly for the Iranian. Yeah, both athletes are looking to take a control position. Right now, they're, they're, they're not too sweaty. You can easily get a grip. Right in the zone, steps up for that one point. So they get the step out point. Good pressure in the zone there. He had him backed up to the zone. He knew when to apply the pressure and got that point. The look at the Iranian corner as Akhlaji gets the early 1-0 lead. And we're going to have a quick patch job. Looks like some blood on the left hand of the wrestler from Finland and also a nose cut. So they're going to patch that up real quickly. Again, a, a large crowd. We're anticipating the crowds to get even larger as we dive into the freestyle competition. The women's freestyle, the three weights coming up later tonight. Then we'll finish up the women on Thursday and Friday and then usher in the men as well beginning Friday night. It's going to be a climactic finish like it always is here as we hit the midway point in Las Vegas. And we're back to action just 30 seconds into the first period. A step out and the Iranian with a 1-0 lead. See the underhook on the right side. Head up. He's got a good control position with the underhook, but Blue's blocking him. And so the official's warning him, hey, you got to open up a bit. Here's where we had him a few minutes ago, just in the zone. This is where he wants to pressure, get that easy point for the step out of bounds. There will be the first passivity against the wrestler from Finland, Ayanati Emi. Next one on the Finnish wrestler will put him into the parterre position. A little more than a minute into this first period. The step out has been it so far. Lots of a pressure, pressure by the Iranian wrestler. He's the one who's progressing, moving forward. Repositioning toward the center. Akla G, and he's going to get a chance to work on top, and he will put the Finland wrestler down into the parterre. So a chance here for the first time. See if Akla G can work that gut rich and, and get a turn. Okay, put your hands. Wait for the visa. Open blue, blue, open blue. You heard the instruction from the referee to open up. You cannot keep those elbows down. You have to open. extend out. And again, for the second time, he's going to be warned on that. Yeah, he's got to be careful here. Yeah, he he lost Blue. points, you know? I mean, it would be better just to open up a bit, give the grip, and then fight that grip instead of just Blue giving up the that. points. So you see the two points awarded on the caution. You also see the yellow block in the upper left-hand corner. That signifies a caution. So two points awarded. And Akla G in a pretty good position here, still working on top, leading 3 0 as we hit the two minute mark of this first period. Red action. Here he's got the grip. Let's see what he does with it. His arms are in deep, trying to pick him up. up. Runs out of time, and they'll center. go back to their feet in the center. Hey, Ranime, what's he need to do to get something started here offensively? He just has not really launched any type of attack. It's been tough to find an opening against Akhlaji. Yeah, he's got to get a, he needs to get in the arm position he wants to, I think. The Iranian's way more aggressive at taking the arm position that he wants, the underhook. And so I think that he's just got to take more control and be more assertive right from the start to get to a position where he can do his throws from or his duck unders or whatever techniques he wants to to apply it to his opponent. Referee appears content to let the clock expire here in the first period. You see close to a step out, a throw attempt at the end, and let's see. 
And they will confirm one there. So Finland gets on the board with the step out right at the tail end of the period. Yeah, and good reaction in the zone. I mean, he was backed up right to the zone again, but he did a good uh, reversal of his body position and, you know, got the Iranian out instead. So a 3-1 lead early on for Akhlaji. In a first period and opening three minutes where offense was tough to come by. Let's go back to some of the first period highlights and you see here's the caution. Yeah, he's just not opening up and then the. Yeah, officials just warning him and you got to really be careful with that, you know, like there's a point when, yeah, you want to close out like you, you don't want to give anyone a grip but at the same time. You don't want to lose two points. So we're back in action at second period. Three to one. Akla G with the lead. Blue, action. Red, action. Referee wanting both guys to exhibit a little bit more energy out there. Oh, here Blue we zone. go with some action. Right in the zone. Good pressure by the Iranian. Blue He's zone. Fumbling really hard here. Right in the zone. You got it's tricky, right? You don't want to put too much pressure, you might get tossed in the zone. <laughs> So you have to be careful with that pressure. For the second time, Akla G is able to get the point on the step out. So a four to one lead. Hey, no fingers. A lot of his offense coming around that zone, as you mentioned, the border of the mat. Able to get the Finland wrestler out of bounds a couple of times. And it's a huge part of the sport. Like in training, you, you practice zone work all the time because it's I mean, if there's getting the takedowns take a lot more energy, but to get that one point step out of bounds, a lot of it's just you know, mat tactics. Knowing when to pressure, when to circle in. Again, Akhlaji driving toward that zone. Only this time, head on and me able to get back a little bit better position. Just yeah, Blue needs, he, yeah, needs to, he needs to circle in right Blue, now, or else he's going to lose another point. He's got to really work hard here. He's getting. Too close to the zone. He's lost two points already for stepping out of bounds. He's got to wrestle in the center of the mat. Next passivity call as well will be a point for the Iranians. So a precarious situation. And there is the passivity call, and that will be a point on the second passivity. So a five to one lead and a difficult situation right now for Hayat in. Let's see what Akla G can do on top. He was unable to get the turn the first time operating. He was able to get the two, however. Automatically, he goes down into the gut wrench. Got the gut wrench attached. You see him swinging side to side. Now he goes back vertically and is unable to get anything done. So they will start back on their feet. Minute six to go. We welcome in the great Randy Couture back into the broadcast booth. How you doing? Good. How are you? Doing well. A little Greco help for you. Yes. Always appreciate that. It's kind of sad. Our final weight class. It's been a great two days. I know. Greco it's been Roman amazing. Competition. Stop. Another blood Doctor. timeout. So they're going to patch up that nose again. It's been tough sledding. For the 34-year-old from Finland here, he has not been able to muster much against Akla G. 5-1 lead. A little under a minute to go in this second hey, and final period. In case you're just joining us, want to remind you we have one more bronze medal bout, then the gold at 85 kilos, the final weight class for the Greco-Roman division before we usher in the women a little bit later on tonight, the freestyle start of the tournament. I can Amy, the fin is bleeding from the nose too. These guys are getting after it. There's a nice duck under attempt by the Finn. Trying to get to the body of the Iranian. He's got one caution against him. The Finn needs to really work hard. 30 seconds, less than 30 seconds left in this match. 
lot of ground to make up for the pin at five to one for the Iranian. Trying to get the push out, trying to attack, needs to attack there in the zone. Take him out of bounds, trying to get him to step out of bounds. The Iranian's too sharp, very good footwork. Circles back to the center. The Islamic Republic of Iran, Habibola Aklaji, claiming the bronze medal, the one of two bronzes at 85, as he really set his tone, I thought, early. And the wrestler from Finland just could not get his offense. You saw that duck under attack.